I've got to do a little bit of laser maintenance, so I thought I would bring you along and shoot a quick video about how to find exactly where your focal point is on a laser. I recently had to re-level the bed of my laser. Occasionally, as you run this thing up and down, I had a couple screws that were loose. It had gotten to where it was not flat. That is very critical for a laser because as soon as uh, you set your focus at one point, as it moves across, if your surface is not flat, it will greatly uh, affect how it will cut or engrave because you won't be in focus any longer. But then once you get it all leveled and put back up, what if it's not in the same place it was before? That's pretty likely. So you can do what's called a ramp test and it's a simple procedure. I'm gonna show you how to do that ramp test. It's very easy and it will show you precisely where your focal point is on your laser. To do this, you will need a couple of scraps. Um, I just have some plywood here. You want it to be probably at least a foot long. That This is close to that. So the gist of it is you'll lay this down and you'll prop this up like this. And I'm gonna bring my laser over here and set it to where it's not gonna strike this, but it'll come very close. And you basically just create a line file and run a quick scoring line right here. And wherever it is the thinnest, um, that's where your focal point is. And then you just measure whatever from your base here or your material actually before you move it to where your nozzle is and that's the ideal height measurement you need to set it at to get your laser in focus each time. Yeah, so this one's almost 14 inches. I'm just gonna make a 13 inch long line file that I can use on here and uh, then we'll engrave it really quick. After I got the nozzle set approximately where I thought it needed to be, I just hit frame to make sure that it was gonna be on my board so that this test wasn't in vain. And here you see, I'm just framing it out, making sure that everything's lining up. And I wanted to note also, I have a larger machine and this is a CO2 laser, but if you have a diode laser or some other type, this method should still work no matter what laser you have if you're trying to find the focal point. Now that I'm reviewing this footage, I can see there's a fly in there that has a death wish. My camera focus skills went a little bad there, so I did another line so that we could see more clearly what was going on. It's important that you do not move your origin for where your laser head is set. You can move it, but as long as you can come back to your origin, because you need to be able to measure from where your nozzle is to wherever you determine is the sharpest, crispest point on this line. As you can see from left to right, it gets kind of blurry as it's out of focus far left and far right. And then right here is where it's very crisp and tight. I'll slow it down so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I just mark the spot by circling it. You don't really have to do this if you can clearly see how crisp it is in a particular place. And then after you bring the laser back to its origin, you move it left to right so that the nozzle is directly over that most crisp spot. At that point, get a measuring tool that you trust and measure the distance between the nozzle and the face of that surface then that is your new focal distance. I don't remember what this ended up being at the time. This was a little while ago, but what I do, and I'll show you in the next steps, is just to create a simple box and cut that out of 
some acrylic or some wood or something, use your laser to cut out a measuring tool that then every time you set it, you can just grab that little piece and make sure that it fits just barely between the nozzle and your workpiece and the focal point should be exact. Here I'm gonna cut a little piece out to use as my measuring tool out of some scrap acrylic that I have. And if you're wondering why I'm setting these up off of the laser honeycomb, I tend to get a lot of flashback off of the honeycomb that leaves these weird things kind of on the back of any acrylic that I cut. And I have watched some other people that say elevate it off of the surface on something. And I seem to get pretty good results doing this. I don't know if that'll help you. So once again, all I'm doing is using the measuring tool to measure that distance that I found in our laser ramp test to bring the nozzle off of the surface of this acrylic. And then I'll cut out my little homemade measuring tool. This is real time and I had it set a little too fast so that's why you see me doing multiple passes to get through the material. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed to block this entire shot with my hand, not showing you what I'm doing, but trust me, I'm doing it. Just kidding, sorry I didn't show this better. I'm just setting the height using that new little tool that I just cut out and you can't quite see it because I was operating the laser with one hand and doing this with the other. All right, moment of truth, putting in a new piece of acrylic that is elevated, like I talked about earlier, and I'm going to cut out a couple of things that I needed to ship out to customers. Hopefully I did everything right and spoiler, I did. It makes it so much easier not having to actually measure to set this height using this little tool that we made is just one of the easiest things. I hope you found that useful. You can use this ramp test on pretty much any laser to find your exact focal point. Uh, I sell lots of these charcuterie board templates and other things in my online store. I've got a link to that below. Thanks for checking out the video.